The headlines of the presidential campaign are often dominated by the latest poll numbers or controversies. But most voters will make a choice based on the issues. And that's why WBZ is launching a new series, Where They Stand, so that you know what positions these candidates are taking. If I believe health care is a right as I do, I can no longer support an amendment that makes that right dependent on someone's zip code. Polls consistently show health care is the issue that's most important to voters. It just is, with, it is beyond reach of affordability. Yes. And that is why I'm supporting Medicare for All. Universal health care has to mean not just primary health care. It has to mean mental health care. We should have universal health care, but it shouldn't be a kind of health care that kicks 150 million Americans off their health care. Right behind health care is the economy, followed by immigration, which has dominated headlines this week. No one who supports sanctuary cities should be allowed to run for president of the United States. So my plan on immigration would make sure that we treat people with basic respect and compassion and common sense instead of cruelty. Because people come out of the shadows, they start paying taxes. Candidates will try to appeal to younger voters and parents, which is why you'll also hear a lot about education. Good jobs require a good education, and that is why we will make public colleges and universities tuition free. So free college is a good aspiration. But my first priority is building a vocational education system full of apprenticeships. Now, over the next year, we'll highlight the candidates' plans and platforms on these issues and many more. We also have in-depth information on our website, yesboston.com. If you go there tonight, you'll see our first installment, Where the Candidates Stand on Student Loan Reform. Leon